A hearty and filling meal can be made out of simple ingredients as well. And why not make something you can eat cold or warm the next day as well? Filled tortillas are just the right way to go. First, let's cut the chicken breast into cubes, so they will be easier to wrap up and they will marinate quicker. Make sure you cut them into similar size, so they will cook evenly in the pan. Instead of chicken breast, you can always use chicken thighs or even ground beef if that is your preference. Similarly, you can also use firm tofu and prepare it the same way. It's seasoning time. To the chicken cubes, add one teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of sweet paprika, oops, yes, over the bowl is recommended as well. Hmm. Pinch of turmeric, pinch of cayenne, pinch of chili flakes, and optionally half a teaspoon of MSG. Wipe down your surface if you spilled some spice over and mix the chicken with spice as well. Drizzle over one tablespoon of olive oil. Mix and set everything aside to marinate. While our chicken marinates, Let's chop up some vegetables for added crunch and color. First, peel the carrot and cut it into strips and then into smaller cubes. Next, add the onion. Try to match the size of the cubes to the carrot. Here I chose green pepper, but you can use any other vegetables you prefer. Just cut them into bite-sized cubes and it's gonna be okay. Cut up around 10 to 15 cherry tomatoes for the tomato salsa we'll be making a bit later. Set them aside and let's grate our cheese. I use edama, but you can use any melted cheese of your preference. Grating your own cheese is usually better and preferred, since you don't get the added starch that I add to the bag to prevent the cheese from clumping up. On to the stove top. Heat up a large pan and to it Add one tablespoon of oil. To it, add your onions and sweat them out for about one to two minutes, so they become translucent. To them, add your marinated chicken cubes and brown them on all sides. It should take around 10 minutes on the medium-high heat. To the pan, add your carrots and corn. Mix everything well and cook for additional five minutes. You can turn on your oven to 180 degrees Celsius already, so it preheats. Time to wrap everything up. On a clean work surface, lay out your tortilla. You can check how I make my own up in the corner or click the link down in the description. Ladle one to two big spoons of your filling at the lower part of your tortilla, sprinkle over some green pepper and cover everything with cheese. Now to fold it so it won't fall apart. First, fold in the left and the right side and after, take the bottom part and lay it over the filling. With your hands, press it down a bit and push it back towards you, so you make a neat pocket. Now again, tuck in the left and the right side and roll it up into a neat parcel. Place the rolled up tortilla into a baking pan lined with parchment paper, seam side down. Ok, let's do this again. Fill up the tortilla, fold the sides, cover, tuck and roll. I think I overfilled this one a bit, but oh well, it happens. Do the same with the rest of your tortillas and filling. Now take your sour cream and spoon it over your tortillas. I did two with and two without. Lastly, sprinkle over the remaining cheese. Put everything into the preheated oven for 10 to 15 minutes. While everything bakes and the cheese melts, let's prepare our tomato salsa. Heat up a saucepan on a medium heat and to it add one tablespoon of olive oil. To it add one tablespoon of brown sugar and let it slowly melt. Once melted, add in your diced tomatoes. Be careful here, because it will splatter 
due to high water content. Just keep mixing until the water evaporates. The melted sugar will clam up a bit due to tomatoes being colder than the sugar. But just keep mixing and it will dissolve back. To the sauce, add in 2 tablespoons of balsamic vinegar. Add in 1 teaspoon of chopped parsley. If you want to make it spicy, you can add in a few dashes of Tabasco. Reduce the sauce by half and then set it aside. We're almost done, so let's plate up the tortillas. For a bit of freshness, add some chopped cabbage or some other leafy salad next to it. Spoon over some of the sour cream and add the tomato salsa we made earlier. The tortillas can also be made in advance for lunch or another day. Just keep them in the fridge and warm them up later. So, what are you waiting for? Get creative with your feelings and let me know down in the comments what you fill your tortillas with. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe for more bites from my kitchen. Until next time, bye bye!